Machiavelli said, the reason there will be no change is because the people who stand to lose from change have all the power. And the people who stand to gain from change have none of the power. That's describing the global aid system today. Since 1981, the United States has followed a policy until the last year or so we started rethinking it, that we rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries and relieve them of the burden of producing their own food. So thank goodness they can leap directly into the industrial era. It has not worked. It's maybe been good for some of my farmers in Arkansas, but it has not worked. It was a mistake. It was a mistake that I was a party to. I am not pointing the finger at anybody. I did that. I had to live every day with the consequences of the lost capacity to produce a rice crop in Haiti to feed those people because of what I did. Nobody else. People want to help. It comes from a good heart. People give us food. They dig us wells. They bring us shoes. They encourage others to give. We're going to make poverty history. The problem is, it does not work. The foreign aid amounted to a huge subsidy, hundreds of millions of dollars. Tom Shoes found the right model that captured this love of people who want to be generous and helpful. Our donations have an unpredictable impact on the local economy. Why would you go buy something? It's for free. Emergency disaster relief has become the permanent model. After 40 years, if you're still here, there's a problem. What happened to our cotton farms? That's all gone because of the negative impact of our imports at a second-hand level. We rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries. It has not worked. It actually created more poverty. We don't need one more celebrity doing one more campaign. What we need is to no longer be excluded. No one wants to be a beggar for life. I know about countries that developed on trade and innovation and business. I don't know of any country that got so much aid that they suddenly became a first world country. If you really want to help, the poverty industry as we know it has to go. The sooner we tell a beautiful story about the African entrepreneur doing amazing work, then we will begin to shift mindsets. They're not desolate. They have hope. They have a way to get out of it. There's a way to fix it. When you do something, you can see the impact on the population, and you can say, this is because of me. But having a heart for the poor isn't hard, but having a mind for the poor, that's the challenge. Rule of law is that I know what I am, what is the rights and responsibilities around me, and it's protected. That's the rule of law. Otherwise, it's a jungle. The most powerful one will tweak everything. And that's not a good uh, idea for human society. Popular rights are a terrible problem. Terrible, terrible problem. Like 60, 70% of our people are farmers. Just imagine if you have 10 million farmers who have no titles to the land they're farming on. We haven't got clean title in Ghana. It's very, very difficult. You buy land, you have to buy it four or five times. If you're looking for farmland as a small peasant farmer, looking for five acres to buy, you can get five acres from the chief by giving him a drink. But you don't own the five acres. So you can't go to the bank with the five acres as your uh, collateral to, to then borrow money to buy a tractor. You can't start an economy without ownership not being in question. This is my fundamental. Hi, my name is Mark Weber, and I'm the co-producer of the documentary film Poverty Inc. Poverty Inc. is an examination of how we in the West tend to engage people in developing countries with a paternalistic, top-down mindset that often ends up delaying development in the very countries we're trying to help. The uncomfortable reality is that in our efforts to end poverty, we've actually created a vast global poverty industry that often benefits large multinational corporations, huge NGOs, and geopolitical interests more than the people actually living on the bottom rungs of the socioeconomic ladder. You'll find that this film isn't about silver bullets and one-size-fits-all solutions. It's about having a deeper, two-way conversation about how we can be more effective in our efforts to serve others. We made this film because we really believe in the power of ideas to change the world. And the pivotal idea of this film is simply this. We need to stop objectifying people in the developing world by framing them in terms of their lack. 
and instead recognize the creative potential of each and every human being to create value and prosperity in their own family and their own community. When we do that, we'll be able to forge new partnerships to build the institutions of justice and create a more prosperous world. Thank you for joining us in this effort by bringing Poverty Inc. to your town.